Hey guys, so if you're looking for a super special welcoming drink or a beautiful to look at mocktail for your parties, I hope you try this recipe. I call it the Pomegranate Coconut Rhapsody. It uses the juice and tender flesh of tender coconut as well as pomegranate seeds and pomegranate juice. It also incorporates a delicious chili ginger syrup and it all comes together very beautifully. It's fun to make and it's wonderful to serve. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So for this recipe, you need to work the day before to make this special beautiful ice cubes as well as the sugar syrup. So I've got a large 28 cube ice tray here and I'm filling the cubes with the seeds of the pomegranate. I have the seeds of one pomegranate here. So you want to half fill all the cubes. And then we're going to top it up with fresh coconut water. Now these days coconut water is available at the supermarket, you can use that as well. Here I'm using fresh coconut water. We're going to set this in the freezer till the next day or when you're ready to serve the mocktail. We're also going to make a separate tray of plain pomegranate juice ice cubes. Now the juice I have today is actually mixed fruit juice with pomegranate but the plain pomegranate juice gives a better color for the ice cubes so I suggest using that instead. Once we've placed our ice cubes in the freezer to set, we can make our ginger chili syrup. To a saucepan, add one cup of water and one cup of sugar. You want to heat this, stirring occasionally, and bring this to a boil. Meanwhile, we can heat a pan to toast our dried chilies. I'm using two long dried red chilies here. You can use two to three depending on the heat. Now I'm going to just dry roast them till they're nice and smoky, aromatic, as well as slightly charred. We're also using small hot fresh chilies. I'm using a combination of my two tiny red garden variety chilies, as well as one green Thai chili. Now you can use the chilies according to your taste preference. Use what's available but try a different combination for a better flavor. Now once the syrup has boiled and has begun to thicken, we're going to add fresh chilies as well as four large slices of fresh ginger. I'm using nice thick slices of ginger here. To this we're also going to add our smoked and slightly charred dried chilies. Now we're going to continue simmering this until it reaches a thick syrup-like consistency. If you're using a candy thermometer at around 219 degrees Fahrenheit or 104 degrees Celsius, you will reach the syrup stage. But if you don't have a thermometer, that's fine. You can just thicken it until it looks like a syrup and coats the back of your spoon lightly. Remember that if you do boil the syrup too long, it will crystallize upon storing it in your jar. But that's okay as well because the next day you can just reheat it slightly with a little addition of water and it'll be fine. So we're going to store our syrup once it's cooled in an airtight jar or container. But remember, we don't want to remove the chilies or the ginger. We're going to leave it in there so that the flavors intensify. So the next day or several hours later after our ice cubes have been set, we can make our mocktail. So I have a flesh of one entire tender coconut here. It's the fresh flesh that I just scraped out and we've added it to my immersion blender jar. You can use a regular blender. To this we're going to add 800 ml of coconut water. And now you want to blend this just briefly till the tender coconut is chopped up and it creates a snowy look. You don't want to blend it so long that it creates a milky white look. We do want bits of the coconut flesh in there. And if your ginger chili syrup has crystallized, you can just reheat it by adding a little bit of water and just till it's warmed up. So now we can get to the fun part, which is actually making the drink. We're going to add two tablespoons of the syrup to each glass or to taste. 
Now here you can either add the tender coconut and coconut water over and then top with the two different types of ice cubes. Or I actually like to add one set of ice cubes on the bottom and then add our sugar syrup. Top up with the coconut and coconut flesh water. And then add the other set of ice cubes on top. This looks prettier to me. So our refreshing pomegranate coconut recipe is ready to be served. It's extremely refreshing and it's a great drink for any party. Use a cocktail muddle to mix the drink. The ginger syrup combines with the coconut water so deliciously and as the ice cubes melt, they add the flavor in layers slowly and it's a really nice experience. So here I have two sets of the same drink. Notice that one is pinker than the other one. That's because I added a little bit of pomegranate juice over the first set of ice cubes just over the chili and ginger syrup. So it gave it that nice pink color. You can choose whichever one you like, but uh, make sure that the coconut water is the star. So if you're adding the pomegranate juice, only add a little bit just for the color and not for the flavor. So I hope you try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.